young Christoph Quota from the Pochestrum Business School, and we uh, we found it necessary to discuss or to put into the debate for a moment the question on what is happening to our labor relations in South Africa. Certainly, things is changing at a rapid at a rapid pace, and everyone hears all the time problems not only from the mines, the platinum mines, the farming community. Everyone at this stage is starting to get to get the feeling that we are puppets and victims in a labor relations environment. Not to forget Sasselberg and what happened there a few weeks ago. And recently, uh, in fact this week we heard that uh, magistrates are also uh, looking at industrial action of some sorts regarding their wages. So what I would like to concentrate on, to focus on, is to look at two things. The first one is, is there actually a change in our labor relations? Uh, is there some things that is fundamentally changing and we didn't recognize it yet? And the second one that I want to look at is why, why do we tolerate and allow industrial action, for example, strikes and picketing and so on. Where is this coming from? How should one understand it? And, 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 and how should one look at it in a democracy that uh, such as ours in South Africa? To get back to the first, uh, the first question on do industrial relations change, the first thing that I think one must mention is that the Labor Relations Act uh, Act 66 of 1995 was drafted and accepted at this stage 18 years ago when, the, when we moved from an apartheid uh, environment to a democracy. So that act is, is quite old, you know, 20 years in a labor relations environment. Along the way it, get, uh, it got patched up and there's all amendments and so on, but it's still not a new dispensation. And I think at this stage, we need, certainly need, a new labor legislation environment. A new Le labor legislation act, a regulatory instrument that keep, keep up with the modern economy where we are, with the specific, the specific challenges that we experience from the employer side as well as employees. So in a certain sense, my take on it, at least in my mind, there was a specific change pre Marikana, the Rustenburg incident of 2012, and a post Marikana 2012. Things changed after that date. What changed? Well, obvious. Before then, we had this old, it's called old now, but we, we had an act, the Labor Relations Act from 1995 regulating the relationship. So we had collective bargaining, we had the process of collectivity, we had all sorts of uh, bargaining councils, and we had a certain, let's call it, a game plan for labor relations. And everything fits into that. We had in CCMA and dispute settlement procedures, and more or less along that way, we were familiar with strikes and we were familiar with industrial action of sorts, even political strikes, some here and there, a day or two, and the mandates last got down. Then, then suddenly we, 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 we got this wake-up call that happened in that specific mine. But it's not only there, that is what, what went wrong, is, is, we went down in the history specifically there. After that date, suddenly we are confronted with groups in labor, that, that, that make certain acquisitions and say uh, a number of things. The first, of course, is that the, 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 the collective councils are not representative anymore. The process of bargaining is outdated. Um, we are not, as a group of employees, anymore represented. There is no mutual agreements. And it looks like a lot of, uh, of, of, of groups are doing their own thing. And I, I believe that's, that's, that's what changed. 
So uh, before Rustenburg, we had a regulatory environment that everyone adhered to. And after that, suddenly, uh, it looks like the game changed. We don't know the rules well. And everyone is playing more or less uh, along his own or her own rules. People get hurt and, and people even lost their lives, uh, unfortunately. That situation is intolerable. We need good leadership on that and change. We, we need a, a, a new labor dispensation in this country that will help the economy grow. Uh, we, we, we can't carry on uh, as we do at this stage. Labor is an economic phenomenon and uh, as such plays a very important role in growing the economy. And, and we need to get this right. We are being watched by the world. The land, uh, the, the rent is, is sliding by the day. Uh, lots of figures is coming out. Unemployment is not getting better. So lots of things are wrong. And I believe primarily we must get back to basics and at least begin to understand uh, enormous changes that took place. And then I realized, just to conclude in this part, that Gwede Mantashe again uh, reprimand the Kusatu and, and, and Mr. Vavi in his person in this week, uh, especially telling them that Kusatu is, if they carry on as they do, they, they, they are down the drain within a year from, here, from now. And within a certain sense, just to open the debate on that, that is part of the problem. It looks like the the old regime, the old labor leadership, you know, Kosatu and the uh, National Union of Mine Workers and all the well-known trade unions from the past are not representing their members anymore. If that's true, let's, let's assume for a moment that that's true. The dire implications for that is that we will have a change game, labor relations-wise, power play, and that we won't get the necessary leadership from this uh, from this uh, uh, labor federation such as Kosati. So within, within a certain sense, we are in a very loose environment, uh, very difficult to get proper leadership, very difficult to get your hands on the labor part of this. Uh, for an example, Medupi. Madupi is in the in the news again for labor, but for the first time in 2013, we learned more or less what's going on there. Why, why eight weeks in the new year before that happens, uh, and 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 perhaps it's because the, the the unions doesn't come out strong, and uh, and they just don't provide the representation anymore. So, for the first part, definitely a changed environment, changed labor relation. And the rela relation in itself changed, according to me, forever. We need to get a legislative framework up to the a modern era and a, in a 20-year democracy in South Africa to keep up with a growing economy and, and, and to address the needs to grow the economy and get... Uh, then, you know, the second question that I think one needs to address if we look at a, a, a modern environment in labor relations, is the whole question on how does industrial action and the power play work? We, we, the, the, the ordinary citizen experience strikes and picketing as very disruptive, and of course it is. The question is, is that uh, it's, it's, it's embedded in our constitution, the right to strike. It's a fundamental right that is acknowledged all over the world. There's, there's no country in the world that prohibits the right to strike. They are perhaps silent on that. But in South Africa, we have a right to strike. Why? Why? How does it fit into a relationship? Well, just very shortly, to, 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 to give some appreciation for, for the industrial action part of labor relation. A labor relation has specific similarities with other relationships. A, a, a relationship such as an, a friendship, or a partnership have elements in it of trust and loyalty, and that's not in the labor relation anymore. So for, 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 to, to begin with, that's one of the major problems. The, 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 the trust is, is gone in our relationship. So the, work, the workplace is paying the price for employers and employees 
not trusting each other in collective bargaining, in negotiation, uh, and, and with their own futures. Let me just distinguish between a dispute of right and a dispute of interest. This is very, very important to understand why we need to have some power play in a relationship. A dispute of right is not a difficult one to solve or to manage. For example, you have the right to receive your salary. If you don't, your rights are infringed and we can ask a third party if necessary to set that right. Even the bailiff or the sheriff can help there. So that's a certain right. It was negotiated and there's a certain uh, agreement on that. That's not a difficult one and we don't have too much problems with that. But then we have other things that happens in a relationship. That's a dispute of interest. For example, if, if I can stuck to the, to the salary, if you have a, 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 if you want an increase in your salary and there's a dispute around that, that will be a dispute of, of interest. So you have a certain interest in, in getting it better. In a democracy such as South Africa, you, we can't tell an employer how much to pay or how, how, how much a salary should be. Of course, there's exceptions, and I'm not referring here to sectoral determinations. We have examples of those, like in the domestic sector and agriculture. There you need to pay the ministerial, the minister's uh, determined wage. That's a minimum wage. But apart from that, wages and increases in wages is negotiated. When that breaks down, we still need to respect the primary identity of a labor relation. In other words, it's a private matter between an employer and an employee, or then their collectives, and they must see this through. You can't ask a third party to tell an employer to increase, uh, to increase wages, uh, not in a democracy. So therefore, we have the whole, the whole setup, the whole process and procedures around power play. Unfortunately, in, especially in South Africa, the rules uh, get broken a lot and we don't, uh, we don't need that. But within the rules, we, we must have an appreciation for the private and, and, and the, the specific relationship that a labor relation is. I hope that that makes sense uh, for you. Thank you very much.